Hi guys and happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, November 12th. And once again, I'm behind um, stuff going on. So I didn't get this all planned out, but I do know what I want to use. I'm going to be using Evening Evergreen, Sweet Survey, Soft Succulent, all in colors. These are older in colors, Sweet Survey is newer. I'm going to be using Berry Vanilla. I'm going to be using the Spruced Up Bundle, which means I'm going to be using the Spruced Up Stamps and some of the dies. And, you know, whatever else we get to. Okay, let me set this over to the side for now. We're going to do some cutting. All right, I'm trying to figure out what how I want to do this because I want to stamp on this. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'm going to use these and I'll use this for my die cutting. Okay, so now that we've decided which order we're going to go, we're going to cut our base five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. Get that all squared up in the corners there. All right. Then I'm going to cut my base, which is five and a fourth by four. And I hope I did these measurements right. We will see in a second, won't we? So here's my layer. Then, no, that's where... Yeah, no, this is where I have to cut down. So th this is the four side. So now this is five and a fourth by four, which is usually our normal base, but we're gonna cut this down even more. So we're gonna leave this at four. We're gonna cut this at one and three eighths. So that's that longer line right before one and a half. We're gonna cut another one at one and three eighths. And then what you have left is two and a half, but we're going to cut this down to two and an eighth. The reason we're doing this is because we want to have some borders all the way through. So that's why you're going to lose that. All right. Now on our vanilla. Since with that was four, we're going to cut this at three and seven eighths because I want to do a very, very small um very small border on all these. All right, and so then we're going to go one and a fourth, one and a fourth, and two. So these are all just a little bit of a base, a little bit of an edge. Okay, let me say those measurements again, and I may or may not put them up on the screen. I'm not sure. It takes so long to do that, to edit, that I might just say them again that way. I don't have to spend more time getting this to you. So, the sweet sorbet, you had two that were one and three eighths, and one that was two and an eighth. So then your vanilla, by four, sorry, by four. And then your vanilla is going to be one and a fourth by three and seven eighths. And then two by three and seven eighths. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's start our stamping. Let me get out my vanilla pieces. Put these down here. Let me get out soft succulent, evening evergreen, evening evergreen, and sweet sorbet. Just because those would match my my card stocks. So we'll probably end up using those. All right. So let's grab this out. And Let's see. Oh my gosh. 
So I usually don't put that in there. So I'm going to use these two trees. I don't know why I keep this piece. It's really annoying. I really shouldn't. All right, I'm going to use these two pieces, and maybe I'll use a phrase later. Don't know. Now, the beauty of this is you can stamp and then decide if you want to use as a different color. I'm sorry, a different, uh, of course, color. If you want to use a different length. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, let's put these on here. I'm going to stamp the big one in the evening evergreen because we haven't really introduced that color yet. And now this is a new set for me. I just bought it a couple weeks ago. So I might have forgotten to rub the finishing off on my brown paper sack. We'll see. Oh, looks pretty good. All right. And then let's go ahead. Oh, you know what I'm going to end up doing? I'm going to end up cutting these out. So we will be using the Evening Evergreen uh, cardstock. Let me see. You know what? We'll do two of them. I'll show you what I mean. All right. So here's these two. And if you wanted to cut them down at this point, this is where you would. Let me bring this out. I think I'm going to cut off a uh, fourth of an inch on each side, on each end. So let's do a fourth and a fourth. All right, we'll make this one simplistic. The next one we'll leave. All right, so let's go ahead and mount these. Now this, of course, is going to be a little bit, instead of cutting on both sides after I've cut this down, I usually like to make it here. And then you can either take your um, snips or your cutter and take off that remainder. All right. All right. So in a simplistic card, let's go ahead. Here now I'm going to I'm going to mount up that middle one, but I'll leave the other two flat. All right, make sure I got all those tabs off. Now on this one, you can decide. I like centering this one and going from the others. So let me go ahead and center that up here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm on my centering grid right there. I'm putting this at the one inch mark. And then I'm going to put these on either side. I'm going to try to center those a little bit because I cut those down. All right. Then you can go ahead. I'm going to go to the next card, but you can go ahead then and take one of these greetings and do it across. So that's where your evening evergreen would come in. Um, let's go ahead. I'll just go ahead and do it and show you, but then we'll go to the next one. So this will end up being a little bit of a long video. Sorry. It happens. So let me make this one inch. Really should have used my little... Um, my four by 12 pieces, but I didn't. All right, so let's grab that holiday season. And then we're gonna make this just a little bit smaller. So this would be, so this one was one inch, remember? So I'm gonna make this seven eighths. And I did three across, 
So I'm going to make that two and seven eighths. See how that's barely over there? Let me get this. Get my little greeting. Yes, I'm using my cutter again as a stamping surface. Usually don't recommend that, but this is what I did. Let me put on a little adhesive. Let's do this. And since I already have that on there, I'm gonna put tape on this one side and dimensional, a baby dimensional on the other. Cause this one's popped up, the other one's not. So let me get a baby dimensional. So I've never measured these, but I think these are just slightly less high than the others. So I'm just going to cut off that tree. All right, it doesn't matter. I should have stamped the tree up a little bit more. So that's flat, that's popped up, and there you are. You can add little jewels, and then you're all good on that. Let me show you what I was going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and let's stamp these again. Oh, right here. So stamp these in your color. This one was done in Evening Evergreen. You know what, I really should have, I did that too close to the edge. I really should have my piercing mat out too. All right, there's the evening evergreen. Let's get the soft succulent. All right, put these off to the side. Go ahead and just cut around those a little bit. So we're going to put these to the baby, the mini stamp and cut and boss machine. So you know we just need it to be a little bit smaller of a cardstock. I know I waste a lot of the vanilla, but I have a lot of vanilla laying around. So don't worry, all is good. Um, plenty to go around. Oh my goodness! All right. Let me find my plates. So I have, let me get that all out of the way. So I have my plate one and my two plate twos. With the baby, I don't run multiples through at the same time. So I'm gonna do them one at a time. Sorry, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but stick with me. I'm gonna grab that die. Lay it down. There you go. See, look at that. Look how pretty that is. It cuts both of them. Cuts both of them. So now I'm going to run. I don't know if I made this big enough. I didn't. So now I'm going to run my green through there. Let me just go ahead and cut an amount. I know, again, terribly wasteful. If I had planned ahead, this would be much better. Let me go ahead and run that one through. I didn't have them quite lined up. All right, so here we go again. Look at that. Look how cute those are. All right, so let's go to the next one. This one I'm going to try to line up a little bit better. And see, I usually cut first and then stamp. I know that seems extremely backwards, but that's how I do it. 
So let's go ahead. I'll try to get that on there. I still don't think it went through very straight. Oops, that one. There. That one fell out. Let's do this again. Oh, gosh. My husband's back with the dog. Yeah, daylight savings time. Everything, everything gets pushed back. Even though we uh, fell back, um, I just, I don't know. I'm doing a video later, but they're still just getting back from their walk. Okay, so that's that one. Again, that's going to happen with the big one. Now, in this one, I'm not going to cut it out in the green also. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. No, and I do have some blue tape right here. Maybe I will go ahead and put that one on. All right, put that back on my stand. Oh my goodness, long sleeves. I hate long sleeves. I'm usually always a three-fourths sleeve person, but not this time. All right, let me go ahead and put this away. Put this on my magnetic thing so that I don't end up losing it. The other one I already put over here. All right, now let's do that same card. So... I might have cut this down though, did I? Let's see. Let me get four and a fourth. Oh, no, I didn't. Excellent. So there's that. This time we're going to use, well, again, we're using this. So this is going to be your. This is going to be your layer. So yes, so it's going to be your five and a fourth. By four. So that's your normal layer. I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut it down or not. So here's the original one. Do I want to cut this down? Because now we have this. Yeah. I'm still going to cut it down. Sorry, I just had to think it through. All right. So we're going to have two that are one and three eighths. And one that's two and an eighth. Again, this one, I think I'm going to know right away. And I'm going to cut off this time an inch. All right, so here's pieces of this. I'm gonna leave that one just like it is. We're gonna put these two on here, but we're gonna put that dark green overlay. Look how cool that is. Very cool. And there's my dog. Hope he doesn't bark. No barking, Finn. All right, so see how that's gonna be? So let's go ahead, get out. No, Finn, stop. Let me get a little in the corner here. All right, so on this one, I like putting the outline down first. And you want to be very careful that you don't move this when you're putting the glue on. Because you don't want to get glue on that front side. So I'm going to center this about how I want it. 
and lay it down. Again, let's get this other one. Try not to move it so I don't get any glue on that front side. Again, I'm gonna lay it down. All right, now am I gonna lay this right in or am I gonna pop it up? I think I'm gonna pop it up. Cause that's always fun. All right, where'd I put it? So I think that fits right in there without it being seen. I'm just gonna put two on there. Kind of lay it inside there, giving it a little bit of height. Again, lay it in there, but I want a little bit of that green to show through. Perfect. This one I'm going to pop up too, just because I can. And I'm going to use the longer part. Sorry, the longer part of this to go up so I have more of a base. Hopefully that's not showing through. Nope. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that full length. I'm not gonna cut that. All right, so let's go down here. Yeah, I know. It needs a little pizzazz. Let me go back. I'm not using the top one. I'm using the bottom one to line up. So if you wanted to do another layer, you would want to reduce this by another eight still. But there you have that. You can put little blingers. All right, by blingers, I mean sequence. Uh, let's see. Go back to my favorites. I love these. Completely, completely love these. And I'm going to be predictable here. I'm going to put these four down. And then I'm going to put another one right at the top of that. And again, I would use the same phrase that I used there. And then you have all these fun little ones for later. All right, guys. There you are using that spruced up bundle, which is the die set and the actual stamps themselves. All right, have a great Saturday and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.